Good morning, everyone. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about consent. Sexual assault is a major issue in our society and not everybody understands consent or what that means. One of the easiest ways that I like to remember consent is using the acronym FRIES. And this is a great one to just keep in your mind or if you wanna teach it to other people, it's really easy to remember. So consent is freely given, reversible, informed, enthusiastic, and specific. So freely given, this means that both partners had equal say in the decision. One partner was not pressuring the other for sex. Um, there was no force, intimidation, or coercion involved in that decision. Reversible, yes once does not mean yes always, and if one person is uncomfortable and wants to stop, then that decision needs to be respected. Informed, are you bringing your partner in the loop on things that are important to them and that impact their lives? So this could include birth control, STDs, or any other partners. Enthusiastic, body language is really important here, and I think a lot of us can tell when someone's excited versus if they're hesitant and nervous. So pay attention to those signals, and this could include um, somebody leaning in to kiss you, or are they pulling away? Uh, body language can really say a lot here. And finally, specific. So yes to one thing does not mean yes to everything. It does not give permission for everything. So if there's any doubt, just go ahead and check in with your partner. Make sure they're feeling comfortable and that it's something that they want to do. Um, it's also important to remember that silence is not the same as consent. And just because somebody hasn't said no, doesn't mean that they're saying yes to sex. And someone can consent only if they're of legal age and if they're fully aware. So anybody under the influence of drugs and alcohol or unconscious cannot consent to sex. If you'd like to learn more, please visit loveisrespect.org.